Hey there Aquarius, this is Renee and welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how your person feels about you. How they're feeling at this moment, how they see you, where they see your relationship, and how you feel right now about your person. Um, we're also going to take a look at an outcome and pull an angel number at the, link, at the end. So stick by to the end, okay? And um, if this reading... This reading can be flipped. So if you feel like your person's energies are flipped, be feel to reverse them. Um, also, this reading is timeless. So when you see it is when you're supposed to receive it. Okay. So the energy from your person. I have peace. I am a being of love. And I release all negative energy. Okay. For you, we have honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Okay. So I feel like, you know, your person just wants peace. They want peace of mind. They want peace in their home, peace in their life. And I feel like all you want is honesty. You want someone who's going to be true, honest, and, you know, be straightforward. Okay. Um, okay. Let's take a look at the tarot. What messages can we get from the tarot? For your person. How is Aquarius's person feeling at this moment? How is Aquarius person feeling at this moment? Okay, the Page of Swords. How they feel about you is the Seven of Cups. How they feel about your relationship is the lovers. Wow. How you are feeling about your relationship is the Three of Cups. Okay. So at the bottom, we have the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, you have a lot of um, admiration for this relationship. I feel like you value this relationship very much. You, you see it as very stable, very giving. And, you know, you're kind of seeing things move along and um, evolving, changing. I feel like you see this as, as being celebrated. You see this as a very good offer, a very good venture. You're, you're very happy and content in your situation. You know, you're ready for some kind of celebration. And I feel like your person, your person at this moment is very um, curious. They're trying to find out some kind of facts. They're in need of some kind of venture. It may be this piece that they're looking for. But your person is actively in search of some knowledge. And I feel like it's peace. Peace of mind. Um, peace within themselves. You know, they're trying to find that more peaceful space. Because I feel like they see you as having a lot of opportunities, having a lot of options available to you. They may also see you as someone who may be living different lives is what I'm getting. Okay, so they don't see you as an open book. They see you as someone who's very ominous, um, someone who's very... kind of hidden in a way like there's a lot of secrets to be revealed but they see this love as a soulmate they see this love as something that's very you know giving nurturing they see this as a divine union so they see you in this relationship as something that they can really feel very good about you know um but I feel like they're very curious at the moment. They're, they're actively in search of some kind of feeling, some kind of thought. You know, they may be, you know, looking, you know, what I'm really getting is they, they may be looking in your social media if you have social media. And they may see that you have so many things on the table. They may feel like you're living so many lives, you know, like you have so many um 
opportunities that are available to you. Okay, let's get some clarification for these cards. Why is this Page of Swords here for Aquarius' person? Why is this Page of Swords here? Okay, we have the Strength card. So I feel like your your person is very strong. They're very capable, but they're they're looking for the strength. They're looking for that peace, that peace of mind, that peace of understanding. Um, so I, I feel like there's there's a little bit of doubt here with this person to where they're actively seeking strength and courage. You know. Um, there's something going on with your person to where they feel like, you know, there's something that they are not feeling up to par about, you know. Um, maybe it's in their workspace. Maybe it's some other situation that they're going through. But they're trying to find the courage to come forward. You know, they're very curious at the moment. Why is the Seven of Cups here? Okay, exactly what I thought. Seven of Cups, the Ten of Wands. You're carrying a lot of priorities. You have a lot of things on the table, Aquarius. You are doing many projects, you know. There's some things that, you know, your person feels like there's so many things going on that, you know, they're trying to find the strength because they feel like, you know, you may not have the time for them. You may be leaving them behind. You may, you know, be doing things without them or maybe doing things behind their back. Okay. Um, so I feel like it's bringing some kind of, um, I can't even think today. I know exactly what I want to say, but it's just not coming out. There may be some kind of block with your person. Your person may want to come to you and exactly know what they want to say, but they just can't do it. There's something being blocked here. Okay. With the lovers, we have the queen of swords. So I feel like there's a full understanding that, you know, they want to bring forward. Because they see you. They see you, Aquarius. You are their love, their soulmate, their divine partner. Okay? And they see you as very intelligent. They see this relationship as going the distance. You know? You know, kind of evolving into something greater, something better. They just feel like there's a lot of things on the table at the moment. Like they wish that you had more time for them. You know. Um, let's get an outcome for Aquarius. Okay. We have the Six of Cups. The Sun card. And the Nine of Cups. Wow. Look at, look at what's on the bottom. Your person is very happy. They're very happy in this relationship. They view you as being their happiness, being their content space. They're, you know, overjoyed. And I feel like, you know, this person is ready to start a family. If, you know, if you already have a family, I feel like, you know, there's been a lot of time that you've been with this person. Um, I feel like they're reminiscing on feelings of the past, you know, reminiscing on times that you shared, times that, you know, they want to focus on. But I feel like a lot of things are bringing a lot of happiness to you both. We have the Sun card and the Ten of Cups, okay, and the Nine of Cups. So I feel like, you know, there's a lot of happiness here. There's a lot of wish fulfillment, there's a lot of feeling of being content, having everything that you need. So I feel like your relationship is, you know, you're not going to, there's not going to be a relationship on this earth without some kind of struggle. But I feel like you have a very solid, a very stable, a very loving relationship. So I feel like if you have any worries, Aquarius, I feel like your worries need to be rested. They need to be put to peace. Okay? 
because your relationship is very solid. Okay, so let's get an angel number for Aquarius. A beautiful angel number for Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know right now? Message for Aquarius, please. Okay, we have 1212 duality. Okay, sometimes there's two sides to a person, there's two sides to a story. With there's two sides, okay? 1212. Within you are shadows of dark and beams of light. The divine is reminding you to embrace the duality that is your individual spark. The spark that is your, excuse me, the, the spark is being ignited and ready to illuminate the path ahead. Okay, I'm going to read that again. Within you are shadows of dark and beams of light. The divine is reminding you to embrace the duality that is your individual spark. The spark is being ignited and is ready to illuminate the path ahead. Okay, so things are going to become more clear. You know, you just have to realize there, there's two sides to a coin. You know, there's a you know, a shadow side and a, and a light side. So be aware of that, okay? Your affirmation, Aquarius, I fully embrace who I am and I allow change where it is needed. I trust the duality within me, okay? So beautiful energy, Aquarius. So I hope this reading helps you. If this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. If you feel like the tables were reversed and maybe you're on this side and they're on that side, you know, feel free to take a look at your person's reading and, you know, get the messages there. Okay, but uh, take a look, look at your sun, moon and rising and your Venus for love in the March readings. Uh, for more clarity and until your next reading Aquarius many blessings to you love and light